Hey, what's going on? LaPrentice Demond here, and today I am doing a bottle water review. Today it is on Body Armor Sports Square, Sports Water, all right? Let's go ahead and get this poured up, shall we? This is a big popular, well, it's not super big, but it's becoming very popular, especially when I see UFC, this is the water I usually see them drinking. Um, so it's getting sponsored a lot by a variety of athletes. And we are going to be testing it against this electrolyzed reduced water. Nothing wrong with having a little competition for a water that's constantly in the UFC, right? So the very first thing we're going to test this for is antioxidants. Now, the reason why is because we want to consume more antioxidants. And what better way to receive those antioxidants than through our water, okay? So we're going to use the ORP meter here, which stands for Oxidative Reduction Potential or the potential to reduce oxidation to see if we get a positive number, which means that it is oxidizing us, right? Which means creating rust, inflammation, dis-ease, and it creates aging in our cells and our body, okay? However, if we see a negative number, then that means it's an anti-inflammatory, anti-aging um, beverage that's gonna keep us looking young and youthful, all right? It's gonna help us fight off if disease and infection. So let's see where body armor water sits, right? Body armor? Yep, body armor. And it is a positive, positive 170. All right. Yep, about 180. Yeah, so this is oxidizing us, okay? It's making us sicker. So if you're an athlete and you're trying to drink the best, don't go, it looks like you shouldn't be going with the stuff that's being sponsored, right? Uh, let's see, let's check out this electrolyzer juice water, see how it does. And we are getting a negative 770, okay? So this is full of antioxidants. This is gonna help fight off, once again, that inflammation, which is any kind of itis you're experiencing. So it's bronchitis, tendonitis, um, colitis, any kind, this is gonna help reduce that inflammation. All right, so there you have it. There's our first test, and if we wanted to, we could just stop right there. That's the end of this round, right? That's the end of this fight, because this is harming us. It's not something we want to be consuming. However, let's go ahead and take a look at the other two items we gotta check for. The second one being alkalinity. All right, on to that second test, which is on alkalinity. And many of us know about this already, thanks to all the bottled water <clears throat> marketing and advertising that's going on, because everything is alkaline and pH and all that stuff. So we're gonna use these pH drops, put them in both of the waters and see what color we get. If we get a red or orange or yellow, that means it's acidic and it's eating the minerals and electrolytes in our body. However, if we see a blue or purple or dark purple, that means it's alkaline and it's actually gonna bow back and neutralize that acidity. Green is neutral. Let's see how we do with body armor. All right. So as we see here, body armor says it is a pH of nine plus. I don't know if that's a nine plus. You guys let me know in the comments, all right? However, this electrolyzed reduced water is looking a little bit more on the purple side, so it's looking more of like a nine plus, okay? But this is alkaline, okay? And so this is what they pride themselves on. In fact, it says it at the front. Alkaline water plus nine pH. However, it's time to see how good it really is at fighting and see if it can battle back against this acidity. Let's see if it can make it tap out. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow into this and see if it actually is strong enough to hold and fight back the acidity I'm putting into it or if it's gonna tap out. Let's see what happens. Oh, I, that was quick. <laughs> It tapped out, which is interesting. Um, let's see, looking at this. All right, so this is 
The only choice of your active lifestyle. All right, cool. This is reverse osmosis, okay? So reverse osmosis was good water and they wiped everything from it. It's the most aggressive form of water out there just because it's, once you wipe it of everything, it's like a blank slate and that water's a scavenger. So it's looking for anything. And they add in here, this is what makes it alkaline by the way. <laughs> they add in potassium bicarbonate, which is an alternative uh, baking soda, pretty much. Um, calcium chloride, which is a salt, and a magnesium chloride, which is another salt. Um, and it says here, what? Yep. So that's what it says, purified water with electrolytes. Okay, and it says proprietary electrolyte formula, proprietary, like no one else has this. Pretty sure if you look at any other alkaline bottled water, you're gonna see those same ingredients in there. So once again, do not let this marketing fool you, okay? Let's go ahead and check out this electrolyzed reduced water and see if we can get the same thing to happen. All right, so I'm not getting the same thing to happen. So if these two are literally gonna fight three rounds in the UFC, this wouldn't make it. <laughs> it would tap out, it doesn't have the strength, doesn't have the power to last and have that endurance, right? It's gonna run out of gas real quick. And that's vitally important because we're consuming acidic stuff all the time. Cookies, sweets, fried foods, um, pancakes, all these types of things that we're consuming, they're acidic. And so we need something to be able to battle back that acidity and last long-term in a fight, not just a quick little thing like this thing did, all right? There you have it. Second test of alkalinity, trash. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and check out the third and final test, superior hydration. All right, on to that third and final test, superior hydration, okay? And the best way to do this is with a tea bag. We're gonna see if we can make tea using the wire that we have here. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, you're like, well, Prentice, we have to boil the water to make tea. And yeah, normally you would have to do that. But why? Like, why are we boiling the water? The reason why we're doing that is because we wanna make the water molecules small enough to be able to pass through the tea bag and actually make tea. But, like, why don't we just drink water that's smaller, right? because we're drinking tons of water anyhow and it shouldn't just sit in our stomach. Have you ever had that feeling or that bloated feeling? You know what I'm talking about. So, I wanna see if this water, that's great for all the athletes, has that same problem or not. <laughs> Let's check it out. Yep, exactly what I'm talking about. The bag is just bloated. Let's go ahead and Give it a few dunks. See if we can get this going. All right, we're starting to get a little bit of tea. Awesome, yeah, it's, it's providing us some tea, right? Um, Not a lot though. Maybe like, I don't know, like 10 or 15%. Let's go ahead and try with this electrolyzed reduced water. Look at that, immediately starts making tea. And I know what you're probably thinking, you're like, Laprentis, the bag was wet. Try it one more time. That's what I got these energy cups here for. Let's see what happens. Let's give this body armor water one more chance. And it's doing about the same. No real change, All right? Electrolyzed reduced water. Immediately starts making green tea, no problem. Okay, so this isn't really hydrating us. <clears throat> so there you have it. It's not really doing the job. And I'm telling you right now, it's not because there wasn't tea 
in there, it's just that the water molecules are too big. It's not working right, okay? So, there you have it. Let's go ahead and wrap up for the results of this water battle. All right, so we tested bonding armor. We put it in a three round fight against electrolyzed reduced water. We tested for three specific properties. Round one was antioxidants. And we saw that this water was oxidizing, okay? Against this water right here, which was the antioxidant. So the winner goes to the ERW, electrolyzed reduced water. In round two, we tested for alkalinity. And while this started to look really good, once we actually threw it in the ring with some acidity, we saw that it just didn't have the endurance to last very long. And so it ended up showing up acidic behind once we got past the, the showmanship, right? So all this talk, but nothing to back it up. Last, we tested for superior hydration. Is this actually gonna hydrate the fighter when your times are getting tough? And we saw that it actually doesn't do a good job at it, of it at all. It falls in line with the same as any other bottle of water. So what are we paying for? Looks like we're paying for the name. Um, if you see it on UFC, you're probably getting it because they're advertising it. That's probably the main reason why you're getting the water outside of it saying alkaline water. <clears throat> so there you have it. I challenge you, if you really want to see what good athletes are drinking, look up what Tom Brady's drinking. Look up what Manny Pacquiao is drinking. Look up, uh, yeah, a few other different athletes like that. See, just, just do a Google search. See what water they're drinking. Promise you it's not this, okay? Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you care about the water that you're drinking and care about the money you're spending, you wanna check out what I have for you coming up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you learned a little something about the wires that we tested here today. Please take a moment to share this video with someone you care about who is also drinking this water. Finally, if you are serious about improving your health and the waters that you drink, click the link in the description below to access my Water Wellness Masterclass. In this masterclass, you will discover the truth about the waters we drink, the effects our water has on our health, and how you can have the world's best water in the comfort of your home and save thousands of dollars as a result. All right, go ahead, click that link in the description below, access that masterclass, and I will see you there real soon.